Hello again. One of my most popular uh, DT workshops in primary schools is to make uh, a school bus, which uh, I do with year two uh, pupils. Uh, it's very simple, um, has to be really, they're still learning how to use scissors. Uh, and I use a, a net that I've designed using a program called Coral Draw, which is then uh, enlarged onto a free card. Um, and with a net, if you've got dotted fold lines, uh, I've learned that they really do need to be scored. Um, if they were older pupils, um, I'd get them to score it. We just use um, a ruler, it can be a ruler, ruler, and a small screwdriver, and we press down and scratch along all the dotted lines. Well, last year, a, 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 a nearby local primary school got in touch and said that their topic was um, uh, fire and could I uh, modify the school bus to turn it into a fire engine? Um, well, I had a think and came up with um, a modified design, very similar to the school bus, except that uh, it's slightly bigger and it's a, a tapered shape. Um, I resisted the temptation to make it any more complicated. Uh, after all, it is um, year two. Um, once again, I pre-score all the dotted lines for them. Very tedious but really essential. And then, so I give them a net already scored uh, and then they uh, write their name on the roof and fill up the window with firefighters and a driver uh, and uh, then cut it out. Um, very good practice for uh, their scissor skills. Um, I'm quite fussy about how I want it cut out. I want it cut out very, very accurately. Um, next step is to uh, fold up the net. And because we've scored the lines much, much easier than it would have been. Even so, folding can be quite a challenge for a year two pupil. Fold up all the tabs, the back of the bus. Like this. Now, sticking it together, I would use a glue gun. Uh, don't let year two pupils use glue guns. So uh, we use sticky tape. Sticky tape can be quite a challenge. Uh, the challenging part is to get this long edge here stuck together. Uh, which I had to give them a lot of help with. I get some tape and lay it half on and half off that edge. This is where it's uh, really useful to have any extra adults in the class when I'm working with a class of 30. But then once we get that piece of tape on, I encourage the pupils to um, stick the ends together themselves. So we'll just put a piece of tape over this end, tuck the tabs in, make it look neat. There we are, could have done that better, but there we are. And then the back of the bus, the back of the new said bus, back of the fire engine. There we are. And that's the um, finished body of the fire engine. We're now going to fix it to um, a chassis and we're going to use um, Corex and this is 4mm Corex, has to be 4mm and uh, the flutes, the holes, must run lengthwise um, and it's about the same size as the bottom of the bus. Uh, we're going to stick this, uh, let's try not to use a glue gun in this video so Let's uh, stick some with sticky tape. We'll just wrap some sticky tape round here. And uh, for a reason that will be apparent later on, do not put sticky tape around the ends. Okay, you can only put sticky tape round this way. Another piece here. So that's our chassis in place. Now we'll put some wheels on. Now usually I use. Uh, the cheapest wheels I can find is MDF wheels, I've even used card wheels. Uh, I have got some 
a limited stock of these very, very nice PVC wheels. So let's use them up. Uh, and we need a, a jumbo straw, which we're going to cut in half. And stick the two halves of the jumbo straw onto the chassis with sticky tape. And when you put the sticky tape on, do not squash the straw because a, a wooden axle is going to run through the straw. Oh, did you spot the deliberate mistake there? I tried to stick the axle onto the chassis. There we are. Once we've got the straws on, we can cut them back to leave just a little bit sticking out. A slight issue there with some sticky tape that I don't want sticking out because it's going to rub on the wheels. There we are. Let's just pop these straws open. They sometimes do that. And that one there. Then we've got some uh, 4 millimetre dowel. It should be a nice tight fit. Pushed it into these wheels. And then again the other end. Perhaps I should have drilled these out a little bit more. They're a bit tight but at least they'll never fall off. And when you push them together, don't scrunch them up tight together, leave a little gap. That's one end done. And now the other end. And there we are. So that's our basic uh, moving vehicle. Um, now, to make the... Uh, to make a ladder, um, you've got uh, a choice. You could just use a, a piece of card, a strip of card here. And what I've done is I cut halfway through to make it hinge, and then that could be uh, glued onto the back of the fire engine like this, and the pupils could perhaps draw rungs of the ladder on. Very simply, like that. Um, if, you've, if you've got time, if you've got some Corex handy, you could cut a, a strip of Corex out like this with the flutes going acrosswise and then they can fill up the um, empty strip with pieces of uh, four mil dowel for the rungs. Uh, this is then glued onto the back of the fire engine. We'll just um, really pinch this fold, putting my finger on the front so that it closes properly. So, oh dear, yes we are going to use a glue gun. Um, no, come on, let's uh, let's stick this on the sticky tape as well. It is possible to make something without a glue gun after all. Here we are. We'll just wrap that round. If I had time I'd probably put some, some more sellotape on there. There we are. Okay, now, um, how to make it uh, automatically lift up, we're going to get a piece of string, tie the piece of string onto the bottom rung of the ladder, this was one part of the year two workshop where uh, I did have to give them a lot of help, because some of the pupils were still learning how to tie knots. Um, another lesson I learned was, um, do not use... Uh, Hairy string. Do not use the sort of string that becomes multi-stranded. This is kind of waxed string because uh, we did have some problems threading the string through the holes. I'm now going to thread the string through one of the centre holes of the corex, like that. And it comes out the other end. There we are. Pull it tight and just check that the, the simple mechanism is working. When I pull the string, it should raise the ladder. Yes, it does. There we are. We've got a nice, simple mechanism there. As I pull the string, just turn it round. You can see it raises the ladder. Um, so that the string you could, uh, can't be accidentally pulled through the other end, um, you could fix a, a bead onto the end. Yeah. 
again, knot tying is a skill that may be beyond some of your two pupils, but there we are. And the string can also act, of course, as a, a string to pull their fire engine along. Finally, how do I get the ladder to be, uh, to be able to be locked in place? Um, get a craft knife, obviously don't let the pupils do this, and just make um, a small cut in the slot that the string goes along so that you can then pull the ladder up to the position you want and then pull the string into the cut that you've made and it should, he says, there we are, hold it in place. So that's my fire engine with a working ladder for year two. I hope you enjoy making it.